Hello Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 13th going to the 19th of December. Um, let's go straight into it. Let's see what's going on for you, uh, Cancer, for this week ahead. What can we say for the spirit? What's going on for Cancer? Oh, well we have the Five of Cups coming in. Okay, so Cancer, for this week, one thing I will say is that there does seem like things aren't going to go exactly the way that we're wanting it to. However, and I want to say however with this. We have the Five of Cups, but then we also have the Eight of Pentacles coming in. I do see an improvement in certain areas of your life. This is a really good time to really focus on your work, focus on that plan, that project, building on your skills, building on your hobbies, building on yourself. A really good time for that because this is really going to distract you from looking at the negatives of things. And that's ultimately what the Five of Cups means. Yes, there is going to be disappointments. I can't hide away from that. But they're asking you not to focus on that. Not everything in life is going to go the way that we want it to. Not everything in life is going to go according to our plan but it is going to go according to the divine's plan right there are some lessons we need to learn from past events there are some lessons we need to learn from mistakes that we've made but that's all that there is <laughs> mistakes should not be held on to for so long they are only there to teach us something and then we get to move forward and enjoy the abundance that is yet to come and with the two of cups still standing just behind this person what you'll see is that if you turn around uh, and focus on your future rather than what's already happened and things that are outside of your control you actually start to see that there is still some great things that you can actually achieve uh, in the near future. So they're asking for you to change your perspective and also, again, to start working on certain things that you are good at, the things that you know will work and the things that are in your control, okay? Um, I will say your emotions around this week might be a little bit low, but again, with the Eight of Pentacles, doing something that makes you happy in terms of your work, in terms of, again, planning, building on something here, the Eight of Pentacles mainly talks about creating um and again working hard if we're doing that i really do feel like this could boost your mood this is also a really good time by the way um to lift your mood exercise can be great by the way and i think maybe doing something like that could really help us out around this week cancer so we also have the full card so again taking a risk taking a leap of faith can i clarify what this is though it's a very random card to just come out like this we have the queen of swords the seven of cups interesting you're making a choice here you're making a very big choice by the looks of it. Um, maybe in terms of work, by the way, to take a leap of faith and just leave something behind. Because with this uh, Queen of Swords, this is you this week. Um, could be dealing with an air sign, but I feel like this is mainly just you. You're becoming a lot more protective of your energy. And I feel like there is a situation around you that is confusing you. There is a situation around you that is just... A little bit everywhere right now this is definitely about a lot of options and you're having to make a choice here in terms of what kind of leap of faith you are going to make um but with the queen of swords you will make the right decision if you use your head and not your heart in this okay because again i feel like we can feel quite disappointed quite easily around this time in terms of work in terms of money in terms of what you're trying to build here but by using your head by using your logic which you're fully able to do here cancer you'll be able to clear up a lot of the confusion here i would suggest you write things down especially in terms of maybe your emotions journaling that can really help you understand what's going on in your head and your heart um, in your mind I really feel like if it is to do with what do I do next and where am I going to go because for a lot of you you're starting fresh a lot of you are going actually yeah I feel like this is about like a clean slate um, which is nice you have no idea what it is that you're capable of just yet here cancer but this is the time where you're about to find out right which I think is lovely and I think that that means that the future is bright for you but this is about kind of going through um, this kind of rough patch of making decisions, which I know is uncomfortable for a lot of people, just so that you can figure out what it is that you're truly made of. But with the Queen of Swords again, there is a situation that is confusing that's starting to become clearer, okay? And it's calling for you to make a decision and mainly to jump away with the full card here from people who are creating that confusion. Again, could be a very cold person in your life who again is sending mixed signals you're better off without them just saying um and if they, again this is to do with inside of you and the decisions that you need to make just taking a leap of faith and just going what do i have to lose in this situation is really going to help you um okay all right for cancer please what can you tell me for the week the knight of swords we have the king of pentacles the justice card and one more or two. <laughs> I like this. This does look good. There is a happy ending, Cancer. We love that. We have the Knight of Swords and the King of Pentacles coming out first. Now, again, this could be communication from an air sign or an earth sign. It doesn't really matter. I do see, though, 
that there is um, some kind of advice coming through in terms of contracts. I do see that there could be an opportunity here. Someone could be wanting you to work on a team. Uh, this could be, again, you changing jobs. I feel like there is interviews going on here that could happen quite quickly. I do see if that is the case that this is something that you are going to be able to get, which is quite nice. Um, I say that because of the Justice card being here and the Three of Pentacles, so this looks like a new beginning. For those of you who are starting your own business though, I feel like there is a need to, again, it's about making quick decisions this week, Cancer, because, not because you're in a rush, but because I think that you're really um, ready to get things moving, you're really ready to get things going, because maybe you've been in this Five of Cups stage for a little while now, you've been kind of down in the dumps a little bit, and again, looking at everything that's already happened, and the woe is me energy, not to disregard any emotions that you've been feeling, but I think you've been in that stage for a little too long, for a lot of you who are realizing it around this week, and you're going, actually, let's get shit moving, let's get things going, let's actually unlock this potential that I know that I have, uh, and you will be doing that. Again, with the King of Pentacles, there is abundance coming through, there is stability coming through, there is communication and opportunities coming through, with the Knight of Swords quite quickly actually. Um, I want to just say be aware of jumping to conclusions, be aware of not having everything, um, not having all the answers straight away. One thing I will say is I feel like in terms of other people just be careful that you're not being too quick to judge them or being too quick to um, answer somebody. This is a very specific message for some of you because I feel like someone could be asking you a question or asking how you feel about something and in the when they ask you in the heat of the moment I just don't, I just feel like you don't want to say the wrong thing take some time take a couple of seconds to or maybe even if it's over text or email give yourself an hour at least or a day to kind of think about what it is that you have to say here because any quick answers at this time might not be very rewarding for you just just to say in terms of communication i don't know why that's coming in but a very specific message for some of you okay anyways <laughs> with that being said i feel like you can come back to this with a cooler attitude especially if this is kind of some um legal situation especially if this is in terms of any kind of uh argument heated discussion I feel like we can give a better answer and kind of look a lot better in a group setting or whatever we can look a lot better a lot more mature if we take some time to think about this okay you don't want to be rushing in uh, because you might get something wrong or again you might not come across the right way okay and uh, it might go against you but anyways very specific message for what some of you out there it's not going to resonate with everyone but again i have to say it moving forward though again stepping into your power is definitely here again they're not wanting you to rush anything but they are asking for you around this time in terms of again making yourself clear of the op the options ahead of you and the paths ahead of you to kind of just take a leap of faith and to trust yourself in terms of where your intuition is guiding you to go uh, which i like here we have the three of pentacles which actually came paired with the strength card which is great in terms of what it is that you're building any business plans or any kind of new beginnings that you're having in terms of work or the home also looks quite good any renovations around the home is looking great too um, but most importantly it's about plants it's about the future it's about building something with somebody here uh, I like this as you're moving forward I also feel like you're going to get some recognition because of the hard work and um, abilities that you have uh, that other people are kind of a little bit shocked by they didn't see this within you but here you go surprising people this week you also have the justice card so any legal situations will be in your favor um i feel like this is also to do with finding a balance here as well within this week which is important which is again not rushing into things but also not being too serious this week is also really important i like that i like that message coming in for you i want to pull some more cards out for you cancer and see what else is happening for you this week The Knight of Pentacles, amazing, and the Emperor, we love this, amazing for those of you who are starting your own businesses, this looks incredible for that head cancer because what I can see is that you are really stepping into this financial freedom and independence in the near future, okay? This could be something that you're only just starting or planning to do, maybe it's just an idea for now that you're trying to figure out how you're going to get there, but the Nine of Pentacles is a really good card to say that you're kind of living in that energy already. There is something here saying that there is a lot of independence within you, always has been within you, um, that you are kind of now only just 
what do I, how can I describe this? It's like you've already embodied this character that you want to be, but now's the time that you actually get to change everything else around you to kind of live up to that too. So for some of you, this could be, I don't know, <laughs> the examples coming in is just like, you know, maybe you like a very uh, luxury lifestyle, but maybe the finances have not been always there for you to kind of prove that you're this, you know, person. Maybe you buy really expensive clothes or you have really nice decorations around the home or regardless, nice car, nice things. Um, but the bank account's not been the same. Do you know what I mean? Now's the time of where you're kind of, the taste is still the same, but now you're actually gaining a lot more money in the bank so that you have money to show for it as well as everything else around you. I don't know, very weird examples coming in, Cancer, but this is all I have. <laughs> we also have the Emperor coming in, which is about taking control of your life. Um, this is really good for, some of you will be getting some kind of money in from somebody, but this is really about you taking control of the empire that you're building here, Cancer. And when I say that, I mean there is something about the future that is big and bold for you that you're again now living up to you're having more confidence in yourself you're clearing out that confusion you're taking leaps of faith this is you taking control of your life again and away from that kind of disappointment and down in the dumps energy you're now taking back that control uh, this is a really good time to spend out in nature a really good time to have that plan really good time to look at where you want your future to be and start every single day doing something that's working towards it, it doesn't have to be anything big it can be something that um, invokes some kind of progress and every single day you'll start to see that you're getting better at something okay um this is good confidence single life is coming through here which i love um if it's not if you're not single then this is just a good time of why you're feeling quite good in a relationship here as well okay i like this anything else i just want to pull some cards for you in terms of romance cancer and see what's coming in for you chemistry looky here we have chemistry there's a strong magnetic connection here we like that if there is any single cancers out there then this is a really good time of where you might be meeting someone who you just click with right that's always nice Ooh, we have stay optimistic about your love life here we go uh positive thinking and faith will bring you romance we like that all the cards are falling out here <laughs> This is also about bringing back the passion in a current relationship. So expect some dates happening around this time. Okay, someone could be spoiling you. I do feel like that's the case. Absolutely. We have forgiving and learning and give your relationship a chance. So yes, in current relationships, I do see that there is something. Um, there is forgiveness. Absolutely. We're learning together. I think you and this person are very independent people um, who have maybe very different ways of looking at life. But you are very similar you don't realize that you're mirroring each other sometimes but regardless there's a lot of love there and also just a lot of wanting to make this work from both sides and this is saying to give your relationship a chance okay all right my angels i love you guys i will see you guys next week i wish you all the best and i'll see you then